guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you and this is Young Womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyle self-care college marriage and all the above so if you like that content make sure to subscribe today we are gonna do a November reset and we're gonna plan and get some goals so that is the video and without further ado let's just jump right on into this video first things first on my november reset planning and goals thing we're gonna brain dump everything on my mind because i have so much on my mind it's truthfully been such a crazy month we went to california as you know and i had my birthday and there's just holidays right now extra projects all of these things are happening and i just need to brain dump them all out so i have categories for my life that i'm going to brain dump about but i will list them down below the categories in case you need a good old-fashioned brain dump to get started on your planning so what i'm going to brain dump about is school i got lots of projects coming up work um i have some projects for work if you don't know i work for a real estate company and a church so i have some projects there i'm gonna brain dump for social media i just have some ideas and i just want to write them down not that i'm gonna necessarily accomplish them yet but i just need to write them down and then i'm gonna brain dump for a young adults group that my husband and i lead I'm gonna brain dump about our home and about my husband. Relationships, like the holiday events with my family and friends and just hanging out with them in general. And then I have a personal brain dump of just so many things I need to do for myself. So that's what we're gonna do. Cue this montage. longer than I thought I had a lot on my mind but the next step on my list is to reflect on the past month so I've been doing this in my journal here and I answer several questions that I'm also gonna put in the description box for you so that you can answer them for yourself but they are I rate the month out of 10 I do a highlight of the month a down point things I didn't accomplish that I wanted to, things I did, and then energy giving things, energy draining things, excited for the next month, feeling for the last month, and grateful for. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, and I encourage you to do the same. Hello. It is indeed the next day and Saturdays are normally my rest days so that's what I have been doing. I've been playing Animal Crossing, watching YouTube and all that stuff but now I wanted to finish this video with you. So step number three is to declutter your devices. So I'm gonna put a screen recording probably and I'll just let you see how I do that. I'll do photos, notes, things like that, maybe messages too.
you're trucking along with this list of planning for the new month. So the next thing is to set some goals. And I've really gotten off track with this. I was doing like two or three goals a month that had to do with like healthy living. And I've gotten off track since like September maybe. So I want to get back to it. If you don't know the method that I use, I use the Shelby Sacco method where she does a small reward for a habit that you've done for one week and then a big reward for a habit that you've done for a full month. And that's the method that I use. So I'll tell you what my goals are after I plan them, but I'm gonna do that now. Here are my November goals. I want to stop working at 10 p.m. every night because I have a work-life balance problem. I want a meal plan on Sundays for the whole week and I want to drink soda only twice a week because I have been drinking a lot of soda recently in the month of October so I want to get back to being more healthy with that. So these are my three goals that I'm going to focus on and I'm going to put them on my planner and plan out when I'll do the rewards for those. Here's what it looks like in my planner. I got these little sticky notes from Target. So I just have them here and they have a month on them and I just circle every day that I've done those things. And then I have the rewards here. These are also from Target. So after I do a week of not working after 10 p.m., there's a black purse I wanted from Target. So I'm going to get that. And then for this one, I'm combining the meal plan and the soda rewards because I want to buy a pot for my plant and it's going to be a little bit more expensive than like a small reward type thing. Small rewards to me are like $10 or something. So this pot, because my plant Tate is big, it's going to be more than $10. So that's why I'm combining those. But the Target purse, I checked today, it should be like $10, $15 for me. So that would be good. So that is my goals for the month and the rewards that I have planned for that. Since I did the last part, so many things have happened. It started storming outside, so that's good. I also changed because I'm going to a birthday party. And I started doing my makeup and getting ready. But I'm going to do the next part of my planning for the new month and that is planning my fitness and self-care at least for the next week it's something i want to make a priority i definitely feel like i can do my best work when i prioritize myself and if you know me you know i'm a very like productive girly i try to do all productive things but if i'm not taking care of myself and not feeling guilty about taking care of myself then I won't be able to do my best work. So we're gonna plan that now. I'm gonna plan it in my planner and I'll kind of show you what I'm doing with that. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you wouldn't know, but I decided to do the self-care challenge for the month of November. It's from Pinterest and it just gives you something to do every single day. So I've been doing that and I incorporated it in my planner here. So I put the workouts in blue and then the self-care item for the day in purple. And I really like this. I've never done this before. But on Monday, I'm going to do abs at the gym. That's when I have normally more time. And then the self-care thing is to take time off of social media. Then on Tuesday, I'm going to do yoga before I have to go to school. Just a quick little yoga thing. And then I'm going to do a 10-minute tidy. That's the self-care thing for that day. Then on Wednesday, I'm going to go on a walk after class. And then the self-care thing is to make your bed. So I'll do that. Thursday, I have more time in the morning, so I'm going to go to the gym. And then 
um, the self-care thing is to have an affirmation in three places so that you'll see it. And then on Friday, I'm going to do yoga after class because I am going to see Black Panther the night before, so I'm probably going to be tired. And then the self-care thing is to connect with a friend or family member. So I really liked writing this out and I feel like it'll keep me more accountable now that I have it on all of the days of the week. I love how you're watching the progression of me getting ready. <laughs> if this doesn't tell you how my brain works, Alec makes fun of me all the time because I'm always multitasking because it makes me feel better. But in reality, it's not making me more productive at all. So I'll do multiple things at the same time. It's just, I don't know, it's just comforting for some reason. So I'm getting ready while filming this video. So good. But anyways, the very last thing that we are going to be doing is planning out projects, which I actually have a lot of projects this month. I'll kind of share them with you. So first thing is I... I don't have my senior project for college yet. It's in the spring, but I already started getting my portfolio ready. What my senior project is, well, half of it, is to create a website that showcases me as a creative. And so I've been working on my website, so I want to plan photo shoots for my senior project to keep building that portfolio for this month. I also have a big final project in my entrepreneurship class. Um, we have to rebrand a brand that already exists, basically. So I'm doing a local coffee shop near me. So I got to get started on that. And then I have some work projects too. I'm doing like a website launch for the real estate company that I work for just to get some excitement behind it. I also started a blog for that. So hopefully it turns out good. And then I have to create a portfolio for a church launch that I also am working for. Just creating like graphics, getting a social media calendar set up. And then I also am creating like a community group for ministers on the church's website so i know that sounds like a lot it is a lot <laughs> there's a lot of extra projects right now so i'm gonna like kind of get a good outline for those and see like at least get the first step so i know how to get started because i don't even know all the steps that i need for all those things so let's get the first steps going i'm gonna do this on my ipad though This is how I broke down all of the projects. I just kind of got a next step because it just seems less overwhelming in my mind to have a next step and I put some dates next to them so that I know when I'd focus on that thing and it makes it less overwhelming. So that's how I kind of organized that. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me because I love to do those for you. And I'll see you guys whenever I see you next. Bye guys!